And, and one, one time, I remember, I used to, I love going to church. I love church. There was one time, there was a lady at church, found out what I did for a living. And she was like, um, you know, Brother Norman, the scriptures teach us that um, loud laughter is not approved. <laughs> and I said, well, Sister Johnson, if you've ever seen me perform, you know that's not a problem. <laughs> But I used to have a really cool Sunday school teacher, right? But he was a little, he was a little confident. He was a little overconfident sometimes, right? And one time he forgot his lesson, so he just, he comes in, he's like, all right, boys, tell what we're gonna do. Uh, you just go ahead and throw out any question you have about anything about uh, life in general, uh, anything you want about church, anything, and I'm gonna give you a straightforward, honest answer right now. We're all just kind of like, Excuse me. Uh, yes, uh, Brother Norman. Okay. Um, okay. Is God is God omni not omnipotent? Well, yeah. Okay. Is, is God omniscient? Yeah. Okay. Well, if God is all powerful and He's all knowing, would He not know everything we're going to do before we do it? And then if he allows us to do it, even though he has the power to stop us from doing it, if he allows us to do it, would not then anything uh, that we do then uh, become God's will that's making uh, free agency an illusion? <laughs> Why don't we just go ahead and play hangman? And uh, later on, I took I studied philosophy because I want to find more, I get more answers. So for, I went to college to study philosophy. It was, uh, it was a little weird. It was the first day of class, right? Teacher comes walking in and goes, <clears throat> Perhaps the most important thing that you can learn in this class is that there are no absolute truths in the universe. Back there, like. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Hey. Uh, well, okay. If okay, if there if there are no absolute truths, and then you make the statement that there are no absolute truths. <laughs> Won't the statement that there are no absolute truths be an absolute truth? <laughs> Thus negating the idea that there are no absolute truths? <laughs> Perhaps we should just play hangman. <laughs> then I had, this, I had this other class where all we talked about for the first, first week we it was uh, we just we talked about chairs. Not like how to build a chair or anything constructive or useful about a chair, but the idea that the chair that you're currently sitting on is not actually a chair because that chair has not always been a chair. But in order for it to be a chair, it always has to be a chair. Therefore, it's only in a temporary state of representing a chair because the idea of a real chair is an idea of a chair, and that's the real chair being the chair, and that this is just a physical manifestation of the idea of the chair because the idea of the chair is a real chair, so this chair is not really a chair. <laughs> for a week. <laughs> and then at the end of the, the, the week, we come walking in and uh, the, the, uh, the uh, professor is like, okay, uh, we're gonna have a quiz and uh, just take out a sheet of paper. And uh, as we've been discussing about the existence of a chair, uh, you need to defend uh, your own existence. <laughs> And I'm thinking, man, maybe it's not too late to go change my degree to something real, like, you know, English. <laughs> so I just start thinking about it, and then I finally just got up. I got up and I started walking out, and the teacher, the uh, professor, said, like, hey, hey, excuse me, where are you going? And I was like,
Uh, pardon me? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Who's talking to you? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> well, I guess I got an A. 